unfarted, more likely. I leave no on fart, no fart on farted. You know what I mean? I do, I do know what you mean. When there's a fart and like it's available, <laughs> I fart it. Wow. Wow. I think I can skip this. Oh yeah, cool. I'm gonna skip that. <laughs> I'll skip that one too. I don't really want to play these parts. We'll go back. Oh, we're just not playing the game. Apparently this one you can't skip. No, I probably can't. Oh no, I can't. Okay, you're right. Now I don't know what's happening. Yeah, I, like these parts are cool the first time, but I I just really don't want to. I don't want to do them again, to be honest. Oh, see, I won. Yay! I'd rather it be like an actual, like, hacking minigame versus that. I don't know. I'm gonna power up your bum. Alright, Taylor, if, uh... If you were in this world, for a moment, you get to grab either Clank or this this one. I can't remember her name right now. Kit. Uh, Kit. Uh, you get to grab them and you get to bring them here to this this universe, our real universe. Which one are you grabbing? Uh, probably Clank. Clank? Yeah, because we know him more, more and he's, he's cooler. Remember when he was Secret Agent Clank? I do. Yeah, see, about. Kit, Kit didn't, never did no fucking secret agent shit. But then we get to use the powers too. So Clank has that uh, that time stop and yeah, right. So yeah, he's super useful. Dude. We gotta go back to the other dimension to get the power supply. That's how this game works. Yeah. Oh, I thought I could go in there. No. No. All right. Well. And that's how you died. What was the last game you played before this? Uh, I played uh, Hard Space this morning. Hard Space Ship Raper. Now, uh, do you feel like if that game was a real? In real life, would you would you do that job? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Even if no. it paid the amount of money it pays, though. Uh, yeah, I still wouldn't. Uh... Oh yeah, we got this whole encounter. I forgot what this is about. I gotta like hide from him or something like that. Yeah. Juice. It's juice. It's fucking. It's fucking. It's taken no, it's fucking. Uh, OJ. Oh, it's the juice! Yeah. Great jelly can to distract it. Slurpy on. That's a good name. That's a good name. I like that shit. Yeah, Slurpy. That reminds me of like a, like a Futurama. That's like a Futurama name, Slurpy on. You know what I mean? Oh, he's following you. Yeah, it does sound like a Futurama. Slurp. Yeah, that's a slim name for sure. Slurpion. I gotta kind of remember. <laughs> what this reminds me of a little bit is something in Cyberpunk that I probably can't talk about because you haven't experienced it yet, and it would be spoilery. Potentially, yes. I don't want to say what it is, but there's a cool segment in it's in Phantom Liberty. Oh, okay, then yeah, it definitely have to play it. Yep. Um. <clears throat> There's a part kind of like this. It's fucking sick. That's all I'll say. I was kind of hopping back into that for a little bit, but then I, I don't know, got to playing something else again. Yeah, I, I, I did the same thing. I, I started playing it. Yeah, I've been hopping through games, whatever. I got into it for a little bit, and then I hopped over to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Cause, uh, oh yeah, I bought that on Steam the, like recently. I haven't installed it, but it is a tough game to oh, yeah. get into. But once you get into it, it's fun. 
Um, it's it's, it's going to be hard. It would be hard for me to get back into it because yeah, it, it took me a long time before I did. Yeah, I played it when it first came out, but my save got oh. Fucked. So I had to restart. Oh, that would be a tough game to restart. I would hate that. I so hate I did restart it. I would hate that. Because I finally got to a point in the game where, like, oh. at least on the console, on, on PlayStation, where it's, like, you know, um, decently possible to, like, you know, combat and fight people. <laughs> yeah. But it, you know, it's still much like, you know, it would be in real life. If there's more than one enemy, you're fucked. But, you know. Juice! OJ! Doesn't move that fast for someone that's, you know, like a huge apex predator. Yeah, right. Ooh. But I also have rocket boots, so. True. Juice! Oh. But yeah, how much, coming, how much money are you make in that fucking game? Like. For fifteen minutes, you can you'll make a couple 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 green. million couple million depending upon what you salvage. Yeah, but the dangers of floating off into space. Honestly, though, too, Billy. At least when I was playing it recently, like I'm doing hazard level nine shit, which I I don't think it's the highest level, but like it's up there. It's like the second highest level. I'm at hazard level five. It's honestly pretty easy not. Not to take any damage or get hurt or anything. Yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't... It's not as difficult as the game makes it out to be. As long as you, like, make relatively smart decisions and, like, you know, take your time then and do stuff in the right order. Like, that's a really big um, component of it is, like, doing shit in the right order. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, because if you don't do it in the right order, then stuff gets fucked. Let's see. The last one I played was... Uh... Oh. Oh. I don't know what other game I'm gonna get into. I want to. I want to get like into a game again. I just don't know what. I was playing Stardew Valley again. Yeah. And if I was in that world, I'd be happy. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Because Stardew is just a nice, pleasant place. Yeah, as long as they were, to, if they were to make farming fun, real life farming ain't fun, bro. No. No, real life farming is not fun. Fantasy Trench. 300 meters. Oh. I'm like an anti-grav type shit right now. I don't know how you're breathing. I got a little breather. Oh, okay. It's like your space except for it's for underwater. Yeah, basically. Okay. I'm just kind of running through this part because I don't... I don't remember this very well. This is probably one of the... Oh, there's Juice. There he, there he is. This is probably one of the lesser interesting levels in the game for me, but whatever. Oh, hello. Oh, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Shooting an electrical weapon underwater. Mm, yeah, no, that's not... That's not great. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, I've just been hopping through games. I kind of want to get back into, like, something, like, you know, um, kind of, like, you know. I want something that's going to grip me. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I haven't really had anything quite um, on that sort of level recently. I bought the Stalker games, and I honestly, I played a little bit of it, but I almost feel like that game's, like, a little too archaic for me to yeah. really get back into it. Yeah, it's a bit too archaic for me, too. That's why I'm like, okay, I'll wait until Stalker 2 comes yeah, out. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do, too. But yeah, I've been, uh... But I was playing Kingdom Come, and then I moved over, or I went... Cyberpunk to Kingdom Come to... Um... Stardew. Mm -hmm. And... Stardew takes a long time to finish, because you really never finish. Yeah. Now, I want to get I want to get into some game too. I was doing Monster Hunter World for a little while, kind of in preparation for the new one coming out. But eh, I don't know. I'll figure something out. I got a backlog of games too that I haven't really <laughs> gone into much yet, so I could very easily just look into that. Yeah, same. That's Ooh. why that's why I started playing Cyberpunk and 
Can't I really done this because I started them. Yeah. And then I just stopped. I, I I know I've said it to you before, and you know, but I really recommend you finish Cyberpunk because it's yeah. like I'm finally I'm back up to where I got last time, yeah. and I think what I'm going to start doing because I've been doing like every side quest and everything. I'm just going to stop doing that. Yeah. It's the same thing with Kingdom Come where I was doing every side quest and thing, and I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I don't actually need to do all these side quests. Yeah. If they're not interesting me in any way, then I'm just not going to play them. Yeah, in Cyberpunk, in Cyberpunk, you can get away with not doing a lot of the the gigs and stuff like that. Yeah. There's a couple of cool rewards you get for doing all of them. Like, you might get a special vehicle or something like that, but nothing that's really going to like change the game yeah. all that much. And that's the thing, is that a lot of the side quests are actually pretty, you know, enjoyable and entertaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are, totally. But I mean, like, the gigs and stuff. Like, yeah, if you're doing, ones. If you're doing, like, specific character side quests, then, yeah, go, go ahead and do those, because those actually have, like, consequence yeah. and, like, outcome and shit. But, like, the gigs where it's like, I need you to go kill this man, and then you go kill the man, and then it's like, okay, well, whatever. Yeah, it's mainly, yeah, the gigs and, like, the cyber psychos and that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, you can, you don't have to do this. I'm ignoring them. You know what I got? I did all the cyber psychos and all the gigs. Uh, you know what you got, or what I got for the cyber psychos? Mm -hmm. After I beat all of them, like, however many fucking ones there are? Yeah, there's, like, 20 of them or something. There's a ton of them. Yeah. I got a pair of pants. Was it hot pants? No, I didn't even use them. <laughs> I, I found my drip, and I'm like, okay, that's it. Yeah, I pretty much that's what it was for me, too. I found an outfit, and I just stayed with the same one the whole game. Like, yep, this is good enough. This is how I like my character to look, and that's how they're going to remain. Yeah, I got. I think I played female V. I had the, uh, the starting pants mm -hmm. throughout the whole game. And then once I found, like, a jacket, I'm like, that's it. That's it. I am playing female V, and all I wear is, like, one of those vests, mm. so my tits are out all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have no, like, undershirt or anything like that, so I'm literally... You would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally walking around, holding a katana in my, like, cutscenes, and, and then just it's just... blood all over your And tits. then just fucking white tits are out. <laughs> That's funny. And I'll normally be naked also in the bottom parts, but sometimes I'll wear, like, shorts or... Or some pants. Do you think um, nude modders were disappointed that that game defaultly lets you get nude in the game? No, no. They're just like, oh, that saved us some work. Yeah, it saved them some work, and then well, they gave still had them to, a basis to be off of, and then they, they still just had made to. Nude. They still had to mod in the the no underwear. Yeah. And then, uh, and then they're like. I think they should just hi. do that in every game. They're like, hi, uh, Johnny Silverhand, we're going to make you nude too. Even though you're actually a real person in real life that this game you're, you're based off of. I think they should do that in every game, though. Just like make it so you can be naked. like That way, like for all the people that want to be like a transgender person or something like that, like they can do that. You know? Yeah. Let me pick my genitalia in the game. Like, Just do it. Just yeah. let me do it. I remember uh, I was playing Baldur's Gate 3 with uh, Mitch, Jimmy, and Dan. We were all playing online. And yeah. I was playing as the uh, the Dark Urge character. Uh -huh. Which means that I have a murderous backstory. And I kill people randomly. Uh -huh. So I was making myself a Gith Yankee. And I put a beard on, and I'm a female, and I have this big bushy beard, <laughs> and I, I walk around in Lazelle's uh, uh, underwear, which is just a pair of pants, so my tits are out. <laughs> so I'm always walking around, tits out. Isn't that like such a true like nerd thing, though? Anytime like they have you have a choice to make a character. It's like fulfilling some kind of fantasy that you don't even realize you have. Yeah. <laughs> like, I want to be this bearded tit lady. I want to be this murderous... Bearded tit lady. Bearded frog tit lady. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to walk around with my tits out all the time and make everyone else uncomfortable. <laughs> well, that's the funny thing, though, right? Like... If a man were able to freely go into the body of a woman, that's exactly what would happen. Oh, yeah. 
They'd be naked all the time. I'd be like, me and my tits are out. <sighs> nice. I mean, I'm naked all the time anyway, so. Yeah. I'm naked under, always on, I'm always naked underneath my clothes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> This is not always a joke of ours. So like, somebody comes up with clothes on, they're like, I'm naked under this. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, you want to know a secret? I'm naked under these clothes. <laughs> it's like, it's like yeah. all right, yeah, I am too, man. Yeah, no shit. We got it. We got a big grapple gun. Looks like a big old fucking, like it's going to go... So it turns out that the juices were actually lovers. Look at That's why they were purring and rubbing on each other. Yeah. The fish scythers are... are the O.J. Simpsons. What if they just start banging? <laughs> why does everything have to go there? <laughs> <laughs> because you, you just don't give me good answers, so I have to keep... I gotta, keep the, I gotta keep the sex talk alive, okay? Shad is gone. He went to jail. Oh, I don't know what happened to him sucks. after that. Bummer. So there's no more porn. He was the oh. only person to draw porn on the internet. The only person? Only person. No. So what about fucking Spaz Kid? Can't shit. Shit. He's busy. He was uh, He was in the newest Smiling uh, Friends uh, season. Oh. Uh. They just ended season two of Smiling Friends, and they they greenlit a third season. Well, good for them. I don't really like that show, but good for them. And Corey Spaz, he was in he was in the second season. He played, um, he played the Sasquatch. In the Sasquatch, all it does is go, oh, <laughs> oh, the, oh, oh, that's nice, and then spits. <laughs> Is, is Corey known for doing that? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he plays, basically, oh, he just ratchet. plays, he plays as the Sasquatch who's pissing. And he's, he's really having a good piss. Oh, okay. And then, and then he, he dies. <laughs> this is it. This is where they meet, finally. Oh my god. And then he's just like, I hope they're hot. I hope the other one's hot. Yeah. What if he's ugly? Yeah. He's the only one of your species. Yeah, but what if he's ugly? Like, what if I think he's ugly? <laughs> I'm not going to make a new species. Yeah, I'm going to guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He has to be six foot, six inches, but making he's not. at least he's not. six figures. If he ain't any of that, I am not. If I want a man, I get a man. Yeah. I know my worth. <laughs> Uh. So yeah, that's what I picture is gonna be. She's a modern woman. Oh, I got a rocket launcher. The the, the womonger. Get <laughs> <laughs> it? Because she's a female. Let's do it. I've got this pink armor on, don't mind that. <laughs> I'm you. What happened to his arm? What'd you do? What the fuck? I'll give you a third arm if you know what I mean. The male's always the original version. The game series is named after me, okay? <laughs> what are you talking about? This is the first game that you've been introduced in. And then she's like, what? What are you, what are you talking about? It's always been called Rivet and Kit. This is Rivet and Kit 4. My asshole bleeds. <laughs> they... They nice stopped the, trying to make like funny puns. Nice to know that you know, like, they just gave up. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why they say why this game's called My Asshole Hurts, but I assume I'm gonna figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> Ranch is just like the seatless bicycle. I think I might know how. 
two linebacks, they're going to be able to destroy anything. Thank you. Don't pinch it hurt. See, that's mostly the reason why I want them to make another uh, Ratchet game is just to have Rivet in it again. <laughs> Because, <laughs> like, she's she's the, the star of this one, in my opinion. Or at least, at least, you know, I just like the way she looks. Yeah. I like her personality. I think she's fun. I think she's cool. Would like to see more of her. And not a Rule 34 sense. <laughs> oh, okay. We already looked at that before the game even <laughs> came out. It's true. I'm sure it's much better now. Oh, probably. Better pickings. Oh, and plus, we won't have stuff with, like, Ratchet having his, like, weird... <laughs> Mecha dick in that one. Yeah. <laughs> Why does she have a mecha dick? He's got a mecha dick. She's got a mecha arm, so it's, you know, it's normal. Yeah, well, the fight has just started, so hold on. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Turning up the volume. Oh. Oh. Eating lots of cake. Ow. I guess I should just stay on the one rail. Oh, my my cooter. I wonder if she feels like that uh, Sybil in, the, um, in that one uh, Silent Hill movie. Who? You ever seen that one? No. I don't really consume Silent Hill anything, to be honest. Uh, Sybil is the cop. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she gets burned. She gets burned alive. They're making that uh, the Silent Hill 2 remake. I might Maybe I'll check it out then, because I've tried to play them before, and they're like... They're creepy. They are spooky games. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not, like, you yeah, know... Yeah, they're very spooky. Not not knocking that. But I think it's, like, again, a case of, like... It's the tank controls. Yeah, the, the tank controls, and, yeah, the, just how dated and shitty it is. Yeah. I totally get it. I mean, I have... That's my only game I know I own for the PS2. Well, technically, I don't even own it. It's Dave Bush's. But <gasps> I'm never going to talk to him again, so I have it. It's it's in, it's sitting inside of uh, my thin... Or actually, his... His thin PlayStation 2. <gasps> and that is also mine now. Yeah. So, yeah, now I as, own a PlayStation 2. As soon as many years have gone by, <laughs> and you've not claimed that item, then yeah, it's no longer yours. So I have my very own copy oh, of Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2. It is my very own PlayStation 2. But even then, you could just fucking emulate that shit, probably without that much issue. <laughs> yeah, and emulation is like one of the better ways of... Uh, doing the game right now because the HD remakes were yeah, I feel atrocious. Pretty, I hear they're pretty bad, yeah. I think I own it, but I have not played it. <laughs> There's actually quite a few like I like I sometimes will look at like my even my physical PlayStation um catalog of games and I realize like how many of them I still haven't fucking played like at all. <laughs> like yeah. I think I bought I think I bought uh Dragon Quest Heroes two like many years ago and I literally never played it. Is that it. the Minecraft building one? No, that's Builders. That's right. That's right. The Builders games are pretty good. Um, Isn't there a I number two out? There is a number two, yeah. It's been out for a while now. Okay. I own it on, I think, PlayStation, and then I think I bought it on Switch, maybe, but I forget. I remember you playing the first one. I don't remember yeah. ever seeing you play the second. The second one's pretty good. They definitely, like, it's a true, like, what a sequel ought to be type of thing. Like, they... Improved a lot of things, I think. And I played it for a little while, but it's it's again one of those games you kind of have to like actually like spend time with. Like it's not one you're gonna hop in for just a little bit and then you know pick it up later. Yeah. Ow! My cooter. Hold on. Where's Mr. Zircon? I'm so lost without him. Yeah, they don't really have a Mr. Zircon. I mean, they do. It's Mr. Fungi, but I don't. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to use Fungi. Yeah, fuck it's Mr. Not Fungi. Not the Zircon. No, I need a Zircon. Yeah, Mr. Fungi is a uh, not as cool. Oh, 
Didn't you die <laughs> in Kraken time? I thought you died. Yeah, but not in this universe. I think it's crazy. Uh, I think I mentioned this probably early on in this, this playthrough, like how even advanced visually this game series has become comparatively to like when it started. Oh yeah, <laughs> like there's just so much. Just the fur. Yeah, well, just that. But I mean, like, just like how much animated stuff is on screen at any given moment. It's fucking insane. Oh yeah. Oh no, it's Ivan Ooze. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, I actually watched the fucking Power Rangers movie recently. That shit is fucking awesome still. <laughs> like, I probably got, like, a big heap of nostalgia for that movie. I don't know if you've ever seen it, the one with Ivan Ooze in it. I, I mean, probably. It's fucking rad. It's so good. Like, I was watching it, and then, like, they're doing the fight scene at, like, the construction site or whatever with, like, his, his putty guys or whatever. And I'm like, the amount of, like choreography practical effects and like just expertise of all these people and like outfits and shit it's fucking insane like it's so good <laughs> like you don't see anybody making anything like that now <laughs> it's insane dude i don't know i was impressed by it still i'm like this is, that looks like this is a kid show but it's fucking dope So this is the actual nefarious of this universe. Emperor nefarious. Yeah, he is a uh, an actual bamf. The Dorn fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they ought to do for Elder Scrolls Six. Make the adoring fan like the big evil guy. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up and I was. I was tortured and thrown off cliffs. Thrown off of cliffs. <laughs> and used as a pack mule. Yeah. But now we'll see who will be used as a pack mule. <laughs> that would be awesome. I was I was the chosen one's biggest fan. <laughs> well, it's kinda urgent. Like, do you really want to hit the arena now? Yo! Oh, look, look at There's a big fucking dinosaur floating around. Hmm. All right, well. Anyway, next time on Chinstripe Chaps, we eat babies. All right, well, I'm going to let you say that. I ain't saying that. But...